Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Well, this is a very special episode, it's our 50th episode, and last time I adopted that street urchin who begged me to make her my daughter. This time, I have a mind to take a wife, and I've made my plans perfectly clear. I plan to continue in the footsteps of how I handled my very first uh, playthrough just for the amusement factor of having the greatest thief in Skyrim marry the woman out to destroy the Thieves' Guild. And we're gonna go ahead and send Lydia home. I'll head back home if you need me. I won't. Because I have another selfish reason I want to... Have you seen my ring? The one with the inscription? No, I haven't. Don't tell me you've lost it. I hope not. That ring is irreplaceable. I'll look around the house, and if I find it, I'll bring it to you right away. Okay. Talking of rings... An amulet of Mara? You're not married? Surprising. You're interested in me, then? I am. I'd be glad to stand by your side until the divines take us, if you'll have me. I will. Together, then. Together. I've never seen the old this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Shut up! Alright, so now we need to swing by the temple and make arrangements for the big day. But yeah, the other reason why... I all you want. I know you're in the Thieves Guild, and so do the other guards. Well, I'm not exactly hiding it wearing the official Thieves Guild armor. But uh, yeah, the other reason I want to recruit Mual is because she is one of the few NPC followers who is set to be completely invincible. So I don't have to worry about killing her by accident by firing into a melee. But mostly the comedy value of me being, you know, the Grand High Rogue, or eventually being the Grand High Rogue, and having the woman who wants to destroy the Thieves' Guild as my uh, trophy wife. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. All right. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. No, you really don't. So we return to her benevolence and safety. Blessings we now have a day's worth of business to attend to. But we did have one other important job we needed to deal with while we we're here in Riften. You'll remember that before we came by the orphanage and discovered that uh Gretel the Kind, emphasis on old, is not the kindly old lady she pretends to be. And she is about somewhere here. And I am hiding in perfect shadow. It's Grillo. Someone has killed Grillo. <laughs> And yes. The children are overjoyed. The harassed lady who really did all the work is horrified. So, nothing else to do but return to Windhelm and uh, report that we have done the dirty deed. Dirt cheap. And a nice red sunset coming. Took us the better part of a day to walk from Riften to Winter. Yeah. I nearly said Winterhold, but that's uh, that's Game of Thrones, isn't it? Anyway. Well, Grohold the Kind. Is she, you know... Deader than Disco, kid. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. All 
All right, family heirloom. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll give them time to, you know, clean up the mess. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll, when I grow up, I'm going to be an assassin. That way I can help lots of children, just like you. Yeah, um, well, uh, dare to dream, kid. Uh, I guess I should be happy, but I'm more creeped out by all this than anything. Anyway, we should have just enough time to rush back to Riften for our wedding. And I let Lydia go to show something off because, uh, well, she'll be there regardless, but... Yep, attend the wedding ceremony. We got here just that before dawn. Runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? Nope, that was somebody totally different. Totally not me. It was some other guy in Thieves Guild armor. There's lots of them. Actually, talking of that, I probably should wear something a little bit more... Uh, dignified for my wedding. Of course, I sold off all of my fancy clothes, but um, well, maybe not. Oh, now that looks, uh, totally clashing and tacky. Let's go for it. And don't crash now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learned that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today. Well, Lydia did Mara not show up for my wedding, but my daughter is here, and the union of two souls well, two other people I've helped her here. Uh, of course, the only person who showed up on the all side is uh, Captain Friendzone. Prosperity and poverty, and enjoy and hardship. Mostly prosperity and joy. To be bound together in love now and forever. I do now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? I do now and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple. To be wed. Hey, don't run off. I guess we have our entire lives together now. Where should we live? You could stay with me. You have children, though, don't you? We'll have to find somewhere with room for them, too. Well, I've got my house in Falkreath. Then I'll see you at home. And before you take off, again, dear. follow me. I need I'm your help. Right you. So, yeah, now we can head back home. And, uh, yeah, I had expected Lydia to show up for my wedding. She is only my most steadfast companion. I'm itching for a fight. And, yes, I can totally ask her to cook for me now. Here. Wouldn't want you going into a fight on an empty stomach. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Anything. As long as I get to fight. Did you need something? And... No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. Yeah, the only uh, gear she has in her right now is golden necklace, bond of matrimony, a couple of rings, and a belted tunic. Uh, as with most of your companions, your spouse, if they can be a companion, will not have the option of uh, all their clothes will be set as untouchable unless you have a certain mod or uh, hack the console, or unless you do something very clever, which I don't know if it's going to work in the new version, but we're going to go ahead and try it in a bit anyway, because uh, I find her armor a little bit drab. I've got a couple outfits that are a little more interesting. 
Now she will switch to the uh, any better armor that she has. And I am now completely bucky ass naked, so I'm going to go and equip my Thieves Guild outfit. And the Bond of Matrimony. And we'll switch back to the Ring of One Hand Ant. And yeah, she is now wearing ludicrously tacky outfit with the armor and the headdress. Because the headdress is the best helmet she's got. Which is just a bit tacky. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. So I'll go ahead and take the headdress back. All set. Let's go. Yeah, that armor suits her much better than me. But uh, yeah, we are now free to head off on our merry way back home. And uh, what's this? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. I miss him. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right. Well, let's go ahead and check this note out. And uh, mysterious note. We know. You know, suddenly getting out of town strikes me as being a very good idea, but uh, one bit of business first. Now that I've got my wife, I've got another empty child-sized bed at home and a need to uh, make sure that my other daughter has somebody to play with. And uh, yeah, I ran to Thieves before I started filming, so there are now a bunch of thief corpses lying in the street that nobody has dealt with yet. And go ahead and wait two hours so I can talk to my buddy the Smithy. Well, I said talk to my buddy the Smithy, but yeah, there he is. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Take a look. Well, I did actually come to buy let's see, what have I got in the way of weapons at the moment? Let's see, Orcish Dagger. I can't improve those, but I can do steel. So, the finest weapons and armor. Yet I never tired of a good fight. What do you make of that? Yeah, this is one of uh, Turn any time. You're quite the things that gives me all a bit more personality than most companions, but also makes her... And I'll actually buy another what one of those. Because it looks like I can improve my uh, bow now. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. And yes, my smithing skills are now enough that I can make and magical and weapons flawless. But yes, we are going to go and adopt ourselves another daughter. Looking to stay alive? And uh, nobody will recognize me as the person who just killed Gretel the Kind. Or at the very least, they won't say anything about it. Hey, where's the adult in charge? Well, actually... Things are much better now that Gretel is dead. But still, I'm sick of this place. Uh, here she is. I used to hate it here. But it's not so bad anymore. This Constance war has created so many orphans, and so few are willing to open their hearts to them. Well, I actually want to adopt one of them. Why, yes. Yes, of course. What a wonderful surprise. What do I need to do? First, I'll need to ask you a few questions. Your name? Matthias the Dastard. What do you do for a living? Kill people for their stuff. Let's see, I'm the Dragonborn, I'm a thief, and an adventurer, and a mercenary. I'm the goddamn Dragonborn! If you aren't going to be... Wait. Sure, you're serious. Damn right. Well, I... All right, then. Where will your child be living? My house in Falkreath. Very well. That's all I need from you. Congratulations. I think you'll make an excellent parent. Go meet the children... I should have said thief. Like adopt. Once you've made a decision, I'll collect their things and be sure they make it over to your house. Are you really going to adopt one of us? You're here to adopt someone? Really? 
Pick me! Pick me! Let's see, tell me about yourself. I've been the only girl here since forever. The boys pick on me, and they make me do all the chores. You want to adopt one of us, right? I'm strong, I'm fast, I'm smart, I can do anything better than them. Come on, pick me, please. Yeah. Really? Are you... Are you sure? Yes, I'm saving you from the icky, yuck, yucky, nasty boys. Plus, I think Mial would love to have a daughter who can, you know, follow in her footsteps as a badass huntress. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. All right. I used to hate it here, but it's not so bad anymore. Constance is real good to us. Congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful life together. Well, hopefully we will, but, uh... And I did fix that dagger so that I can give, uh... Runa a nice new weapon of her own. It won't be as nice as that elf Need dagger, but... I'll take Stay care of that eventually. In the meantime... Welcome to the Bond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. Yeah, you'd think he'd Welcome be a bit more bitter about everything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. But I did want to see if, let's see, boys green tunic, girls red dress. Uh, just the one girl's dress, huh? Until next time. Well, it did just occur to me, I can totally, probably make an Elven Dagger of my own. Let's see, Elven Dagger. I need to have Moonstone, Ingot, Lever, and Quicksilver. I've seen enough death to last three lives. Come to see Balaman for... Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your Let's needs. Let's see, Moonstone, Quicksilver, Ingot, Iron Ingot... And a... I think I need Never Moonstone to make it perfect. And... Lever Strips. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Protect yourself, oh, I can make an Elven Bow with that, too. There we go. Total equality between the kids for the moment. Well, I'm itching for a fight. Shall we head home? All set. Let's go. All right. Actually, first we will make a quick stop off in Falk Reef. You make Dragonbone weapons at a forge. They're more deadly than Daedric weapons, but way more. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. They couldn't start dancing on her corpse fast enough, and... Dragon... <sighs> Dragon... Oh, and it's a blood dragon. Yeah, hearing him say dry dragon or die dragon freaks me out because I start thinking, what? Die dragon? There's three of them now? Die dragon. Die dragon. Yes, Jeff, I put that Gabriel Knight reference in there just for you. I swear, every time I come to Falk Reef now, there's a dragon attacking. It's 
really dead then? Okay, no vampires want to jump out at this moment. I never would have. Oh heck! It if I hadn't seen it with my Looks own like eye. the uh, the priest died in the middle of that. I don't even know what to say. Well, yeah, the priest of Arcady died. Well, we'll drag his body out where it will be noticed and be given a decent burial eventually. Anyway, new dress. If we let provincials like you wander sky well met. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. You know, this is going to be really bad if it turns out that there isn't a number, and there is not a number girl's dress here, but there is a doll. So, okay, we'll give the dress to one girl, give the doll to the other. And you'll regret it. And there will be much rejoicing. Okay, so back to Lakeview Manor. Ah, home sweet home. I'm itching for a fight. Has the store made any money? What store? We've made a bit of gold. Here, love, this is your share. Yeah, actually, your spouse will start a store and you'll make a hundred gold per day on it. Yeah, what have you got for sale? Well, I can actually go into to her apparel now, buy her old armor, and now I can go out and uh, you trade some no things problem. with you. I can carry a good bit of gear. I can now take her armor away, and she will now be wearing whatever outfit I want her to. In this case, she is now switched to the uh, rather awesome barbarian babe outfit. And I think it is time for us to part ways. No problem. I can carry you. Actually, it's time for us to part ways. Certainly. Be careful. I have a home again. A family. I almost can't believe it. I have a home again. A family. I almost can't believe it. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Papa! I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. Yet I never tired of a good fight. And Miala is giving me her creepy speech about uh, never tiring of a good fight. So, yeah, a little bit PTSD on her part, but given everything, can you blame her? But uh, I've got something for you, Runa. Present? Really? Yep, I got you a red dress and a flawless elven dagger. And I get the gift of charity for that, but lest we neglect our other daughter, who's hiding around here somewhere, I think. I really must put something in the library. I like it here. The tree in the park is so pretty. Actually, it looks like she just came from the basement, so I wonder. Actually, she's heading down there. I wonder if they're making use of the practice dummy I built for them. Ouch. Hey. Ah. Yeah, I kind of pushed her a bit. Ah. Well, she is going to work on the dummy. That's my girl. Oh, there he is. Did you need something, Papa? Got something for you? You got me a present? Really? Yep. Thanks. Uh, I do spoil them all shamelessly, but uh, well, they deserve it after the hard life they've had. So, what's the plan? 
And, uh, okay, yeah, I guess it was, uh, yep. Time for us to part ways for a bit. Such a shame. I thought we were getting along so well. I'll head back to Riften if you should have second thoughts. Well, not really having second thoughts, but, um, that it, it, this is our home. You're supposed to be staying here. I've been looking for you. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks sorry like for it. my loss. What loss would that be? Letter of inheritance. And in the name of Jarl Sidgir, it is with great regret that we inform you of Runely's death. The deceased has bequeathed unto you a measure of inheritance, the amount of 100 gold pieces. The Jarl's court has levied a sum of 10 gold pieces from the sum, as the lawful and honorable due tax. And may this lawfully bestowed. Okay, so I got 90 gold for uh, that. But where did my wife just run off to? I mean, this is our home. She did not just run back to Riften. Uh-uh, no way. There's Runa. <sighs> I wonder if I run down the road, if I might catch her. Because she really should not have gotten that far or have left at all. I mean, that's kind of a major glitch because this is supposed to be your home now. Oh, wait, wait, no, is that. Nope, she's here. She's just hanging around outside the house. Good to see you again, dear. Uh, well, don't scare me like that again. Well, <sighs> and there's my trusty house, Carl. Well, it's been a uh, long day. I think maybe go ahead and rest until dinner time. See if I can get the whole family together. Well, I thought everybody would be here for dinner, but you know what? Yeah, somebody's eating. And there's my other daughter, and uh, heck, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed and trust that me all will come to consummate our marriage in a bit. And, uh, wow, that must have been really good. Sleep well. What the? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod. Hmm? Well, I thought it was Grelod. As emphasis on old. Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. I'd hardly call an arrow to the back understand. butchered. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming, and you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight mm, problem. I don't think I like where this is going. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. 
Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. You want me to murder someone else? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Yeah, you know... Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. Yeah, you know, I'd prefer a discreet bow attack. And, uh... If anybody's gonna die tonight, it's gonna be the assassin who kidnapped me on my wedding night. I agree. Well done. <laughs> Glad she liked it. She approved of my assassinating her with her dying breath. Oh, uh, now I'm overburdened. Alas, alack. Well, let's go ahead and free the captives Wait. first. Please release me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll never speak of you this to anyone. Find I promise. Well, it's about damn time. Thank you. Thank you. Capturing a woman I won't from the like Keeping her bound <laughs> like an animal. Uh, you see? Ridiculous. That wasn't so hard I don't now, know who was you it? Are or what's going Let's on the here. two of us but just forget it. Let's see. How overburdened am I at the moment? Not very. And ditch the monk's robes. Ditch the boots. Yeah, crazy thing is that the Shrouded Boots and a lot of this Assassin stuff is better for you than the Thieves' Guild equipment. But that is neither here nor there. Anyway. Yourself. Anyway, we have now opened up a quest line to destroy the whole of the Accursed Dark Brotherhood. And we may do that next time, but first I want to head home and make sure that everything is as it should be. There's apparently an enemy close by, but I don't see one. Let's see. Am I safe enough to crawl away now? There we go. But yes, we'll just head home. Back to our loving family, check in with them, and then next time, I think we will uh, pursue our enemies in the Dark Brotherhood. And, uh, yeah, Mial has, uh, become casual. Not that I can't say I don't like the look, but, uh... Yep, daughters are still here. Did you need something, Papa? Just to let you know that... I like living here. The lake is so pretty. Just making sure that they're happy here. And I'm checking around because the last time this happened to me, uh, Captain Friendzone wound up coming to my house and was here as Mial was walking around in her underwear. 
Of course, he doesn't seem to be around at the moment. It's good to see you again, dear. I'm right behind you. And the minute that uh, Mjol starts following you again... I'm itching for a fight. You know, it might help if you had... Uh, no problem. I can carry a good Some bit of armor to change into. Yeah, much better. All set. Let's At go. least it's actual armor. Well, armor of a type. But, uh, okay, well... Well, actually, we're going to do one quick thing. Mjol, for a fight. Certainly. Be careful. wait here. And just to ensure that this works the way I think it does, because I swear, the last time I did this, he was there at home with her. Now you're hiding here somewhere, you home wrecker. Oh, he hasn't walked back yet, has he? Oh, there he is. So, he was in hiding the whole time. Well, thankfully. <laughs> you've got there care to put it away no I don't think so and with that done and so with the greatest threat to my nice and peaceful marriage dealt with and done with So what's the plan? Follow me. Ready. Let's go. All right. So, next time me and my new barbarian babe wife will go and take on the Dark Brotherhood. Hope you've been as amused by this as I've been. We will see you next time.